Hi guys, Dave here with a new rhythm guitar lesson for you. Today we're going to look at the 90s dance track Sing It Back by Maloko. Shouldn't take too long, there's only a few chords and a four bar sequence that just gets repeated. Okay, the whole song's in the key of E flat minor and it starts on an E flat minor 9 chord. So, this is the shape. So I'm just playing 6 on the B, 6 on the G, 4 on the D, and 6 on the A. And the strumming pattern is this. I'm just going to go down, down, down. Oh, they're all staccato with those first three downs as well. So down, relax in between the chord. Then you get a little scratch on the down. Then hit it on an up. In fact, you're going to hit it up three times. So scratch up, 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 and then we're just going to go down up at the end. And if you want, you can put a couple of scratches in. I think that just happens as a result of him just trying to keep the timing. So slowly, you get this. Like that. Now that's the rhythm for the whole thing. So I'm going to do the same thing with the A flat minor 9. So all I'm doing there is bowing on the 4th fret across the first four strings and then I'm holding down fret 6 on, on the E string. Now you can either use your third finger or your little finger, it doesn't really matter as long as it's comfortable for you. That's the thing. So. So exactly the same rhythm. And then for the next bar, this is an interesting one. If you just write it out simply, it'd just be a B flat seven chord. But what he's done is he's put two shapes inside this bar. The first one's more like a diminished, like a B diminished. And what this does to the, to the chord is it turns it into a B flat seven flat nine chord. Nice little touch. Really simple shape though. We're just doing this. Six on the B, four on the G, six on the D. And we're just going to go down, down, down. So it's going to follow the rhythm, but it's swapping chords halfway through. Then you're going to get that little scratch, but we're going into a B flat augmented chord. And over the B flat 7 chord, that kind of makes it sound like a, a B flat 7 with a sharp 5. So kind of a jazzy thing to do, I suppose. You know, it's very common to alter like dominant chords like this. So that shape is 7 on the B, 7 on the G, and 8 on the D. And that's when you get the up. So you're going to get 3 ups, followed by a down up. Like that. A couple of scratches on the end if you want. So if I put those together. Like so. And then for the final bar, you just go back to the E flat nine, E flat minor nine, and, and play the same rhythm. That's it. And that's the uh, rhythm guitar part to Maloko's Sing It Back. Alright guys, I hope you have fun with this one and I'll see you for one real soon.